Hey everyone, welcome to another tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add an existing Vagral service provider to your business. So let's get started. We're going to be using two different businesses. Nick Cutter has finally decided to join his sister at our salon. So we're going to set him up right now. The only thing you need from Nick's previous job is his work email and password. You can access that through the employee profile. We're just going to copy his email here. And then we'll open up the other account. Once we're back in the other business and you have all the information from the calendar screen, hover over settings, hover over employee, and click employee profile. In this screen, you're going to see all of your service providers. We're going to click add employee. We're going to type in his name and add his email address. Don't worry about any other information. Go ahead and click next. This box is going to show up letting us know that Vergaro already has an employee associated with this email and if you want to add them to this business. We're going to click yes. In this screen we're going to enter in the password and click login. This pop-up will let us know that the user was validated successfully. Click OK and Nick's profile will be populated. We're going to hit next. In this screen, we're going to verify all his login information and accesses. Everything seems right here. Click Next. We're going to verify his contact information. Click Next. And in this screen, we're going to set his working hours. Click Next. And we'll add in all the services that he's going to provide at this business. When everything's set, click Save. If you don't have unlimited licenses, when you add your new service provider, the license will be updated to the correct amount, and the $10 a month charge will be added. From the old business, make sure you delete the employee and change your license. This video was about adding an existing Vergara service provider to your business. 